Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Do you know what your why is? What is going to keep you going and committed to your goals when it gets tough? Because it will get tough at some point. It will. Life will get busy. And if you're not committed to your why, you will get thrown off track or you may completely give up. So let's talk about how to find out your why and getting out of your comfort zone so that you can stay on track and committed and reach your goals. But before I get into it, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon right next to it. I post at least three videos a week, sometimes more, and you don't wanna miss any of them. And if you're not new here and you keep watching me, but you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, so it's impossible to stay committed to anything unless you know why you're doing it. Your why is your real reason. If you're anything like I was for a really long time, I wanted to lose weight. But I was also want that cupcake that was sitting right in front of me. And that was something real and tangible, right there, rather than the weight loss that felt like a pipe dream. So I would just go for the cupcake and accept the fact that I was overweight. When I took some time to dig deep and realize it wasn't the weight I wanted to lose, it was health that I wanted to gain that I really wanted. Your why may change over time, and it probably will. Using my example again, when I was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis and PCOS, my why completely shifted again. It's because I wanted to feed my body with good and healthy nutrition so that I felt good and had energy. So every time I feel tired and stressed and start to say things like, I'm just gonna skip my workout today, or you can have that third cookie, I stop, I check in with myself and ask myself, is it really worth sacrificing my end goal? The answer is almost always no. Hey, I'm not perfect. I definitely indulge sometimes, but only in moderation. So ask yourself now, is your why more important than eating that cupcake? Is it more important than watching Netflix or eating that third piece of pizza? Absolutely, your why is so much more important. So there's no right or wrong. Your why is all that matters. All that matters is that your why truly drives you and it's for you and not for someone else. When you focus on your why, you'll be determined and get the results you're after. When you really want something, you will find a way. When you really don't want something, you'll always find an excuse. How many times have you broken promises to yourself? If you had a friend that was as flaky as you are to yourself, would you trust them? Would you like them? Would you still want them to be your friend? Would you want to hang out with them if you always thought they were going to ditch you? Probably not. So why do you do that to yourself? Once you figure out your why, write it everywhere. Put it on sticky notes on the fridge, in your bathroom mirror, in your car, wherever you need that constant reminder. Shout it from the rooftop. Share it with your friends and your family. In fact, Share it with me in the comments down below. Let me know what your why is. Finding your why will make it easier to get out of your comfort zone too. Staying in your same pattern, doing the same thing every day feels comfortable because it creates certainty. We know what to expect so it doesn't scare us. But change only happens in your discomfort zone. Think about a time where you didn't know what the outcome was gonna be. Maybe it was a big test in school or a big interview for a job or a speech. That feeling of nervousness and excitement and then you nailed it. Those are the moments that are truly worth living for, even though they probably scare us. For example, pro athletes, we love competition, but what we really love is the uncertainty. So we continuously work to push ourselves outside of that comfort zone. And then when we accomplish that impossible goal or win, that's the moment we never forget because we weren't completely confident we could actually do it. If we just went in and knew we would win, we would never push ourselves. It would just be a normal routine that we knew we couldn't fail. And that's not exciting at all. It's that feeling of accomplishment because you didn't actually know that you could completely do it. So how are you gonna get out of your comfort zone? You don't have to start with anything crazy. It can be as simple as trying a few push-ups or a different route to work. Just something to mix things up. Or it could be something like going after that job promotion or asking for that raise that you know you deserve. So now that you have your why, you know I like to give you tangible things that you can do right now. Number one, educate yourself. Anxiety comes from the unknown. 
So if your goals are health and fitness related, you're educating yourself just by being here right now. But I also have my free Fresh Start Goal Setting Guide, which can help make it even easier for you. And it's completely free. Just go to amyricka.com slash freebies and get your copy there. There's lots of other stuff there too that you can download. It's all completely free and there's no limit on how many you can get. Number two, have a plan. Make new plans to push yourself further. Get outside that comfort zone. Make a list of all the things you want to do, but you haven't done because of fear or just because it might be different from what you typically do. Again, my fresh start goal setting guide will really help you out here. So remember to get that. Number three, take baby steps. Just like setting goals, you do wanna push yourself to try new things. But if you go straight for the biggest thing on your list, maybe something that has scared you your entire life, you're less likely to follow through. So start with something small and attainable and build up your confidence. Then go to the next step. Step four, be more aggressive. As you push yourself, you're gonna keep going. Continually setting goals to drive yourself out of your comfort zone even further. I'm gonna leave you with this quote. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Simply put, only when you stop letting fears and anxiety hold you back will you start making those major changes, those breakthroughs in life. What are you going to do to push yourself outside that comfort zone and watch how it helps you grow and become more confident? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're going to do that's outside your comfort zone. And remember, my free Fresh Start Goal Setting Guide can really help you out amyricka.com slash freebies. Go ahead and get it. If you like that video, please give it a like and share it with your friends and on social media too. That's the best way you can help support me and the channel. And remember to subscribe and tap that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy wishing you a happy and healthy new year. I will see you real soon. Bye.